guys, Deb here from Coastal Ridge We Love. So for this week's video, I will be doing this tall boy. It comes as a set, so it's a tall boy, a dresser, and some bedside tables, which are over at a shot. But um, this one I'll be doing today and doing a couple of different um, paint techniques that are on trend at the moment or trending. So we've got the um, dipped look. So I'm going to probably sand down to this and up and not sure what color but I'm also thinking of doing um, some more colors and some abstract line art um, I'll leave a couple of um, examples in after the intro but um, if you've seen that around it's a pretty big mural mural wall painting sort of thing um, on the front so I'm planning to do the dresser the tall boy and the bed size as a set so if you like that kind of content, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. And everyone say hello to Frankie because, as usual, she's right here. Um, yeah, so if you want to sit, stick around and see how this goes, let's keep watching. So here I am cleaning with my Carts and Millie Clean Cut. Now I have this mixed up in a spray bottle with warm water and a couple of spoons full of the Clean Cut and give it a good shake and spray on, wipe off and I use clean water to rinse off. Okay, so what I was doing there is, so this top here, has cracks and sort of split a bit. Um, usually it could be something just as simple as these were quite loose and this was up. So I've had just tightened up these three in here, tightened up these, tightened up these ones. And then I went back and re-tightened these again. And it's just sort of brought it back down again and hopefully I'll be able to sand out the rest. Um, so yeah, it's looking like So I am working through my grits. So I started with an 80 grit sandpaper, um, went through to a 120 and I actually hand sanded with a 240 grit over the top of that. Um, it was quite a thick finish and I probably should have stripped it, but I went with sanding instead. So I finally finished sanding after a million years, but um, so we're going to do the dip from say there, down and across. Um, I'm going to be doing a, a light driftwood on here and then painting down here. I still haven't decided on my color scheme yet, but you'll know what I know. So here I'm just using my ruler. Um, I decided to do 30 centimeters from the top um, as the bottom line. And then from that point to the corner point at the top, I made my dip line. Um, you of course can do your own measurements. I just decided to do that because it was what's easier for me, but here I am just taping off. So the only thing I do know is I'm going to do, so this bottom colour, the main body of the colour, I'm going to do in my Carson Millie Boutique Manual Paint in Charlie Latte. It's literally my favourite colour. So I'm going to get going on this and the drawers that need doing and yeah. But I will prime this first because I have a Carson Millie Boutique primer and adhesive bond. But I'm keen to because of this raw bit and the dark bit. So, yeah, yeah. So this is my Carts and Millie Boutique Primer and Adhesive Bond. Just in my little container. And so I did the, the line in hopes that it's going to um, stop the bleed through. Thank you. 
so after doing a poll on Instagram, on my Instagram page, um, these suffused colors are actually the colors that won. So we've got Rusty Rose, Pumpkin Spice, and Plantation with a base of Charlie Latte. So um, I'm just gonna get to sanding off all of the filler, get some primer back down on this baby, and hopefully start the rest. So I've just um, done some of the clear varnish along the tape. And I'm gonna use this dryer because Ain't nobody got time to dry them. So I've decided to add my hardware at this point. Um, they are just a, a plain pine un, unsealed. So I'm going to prime them and paint them when I do the design on the front, just to incorporate them and make it more cohesive. So I've decided to use um, below this line the Charlie Latte. Um, so I've done two coats, um, full coats on the bottom, um, and that's going to be my base. Done the two coats of the Charlie Latte on the bottom, and I've just done a wash with the Charlie Latte on the top. Um, I'm not too worried about it, um, for example, this and this, because I can paint my design over that to cover. Please keep in mind guys that I'm in by no means an artist so I'm just winging it here um, having a go um, this first color is the plantation and I'm aiming to do a leaf so the best bit about not having a plan is that you can change it up if you need to
Okay, so um, I flipped this on its back and I'm gonna be going in fixing up all of these bits that I've missed um, underneath and stuff like that. But um, then we're gonna start the line art. So what I have here is a Katsumili Boutique Mineral Paint Pen. So this one is in Daisy's Milk. So the plan is to, this is what we're doing our abstract line art. Now I've been on Pinterest to have a look at a few ideas um, I'm gonna try it if it doesn't look any good or I'm crap at it like completely crap because I'm not an artist um, I'm actually really happy with how it looks right now but I do need to fix up a few things so yeah <sighs> keep watching this space so at first I had decided to use my um, Carter Millie Boutique Mineral Paint Pen in the Daisy's Milk. Um, I did find that I needed to just keep priming it all the time. Um, I think it may have been the suffused paint because it's a clay based paint and it's not the mineral, smooth mineral paint. I think it had a bit of trouble. Um, coping with that so I did in the end opt to use a paintbrush and I actually used my Charlie Latte instead of the Daisy's Milk because that's what I already had out so yeah um, the lines of course weren't as defined but it was a lot brighter and able to see what was going on So here's a little reminder of what we started with and this is the finished product I haven't staged it yet but I will add staged photos at the end thanks for staying with me guys so this week um tried something a little bit different saw it on Pinterest thought I'll give it a go I love how it did turn out <clears throat> excuse my voice I have no idea what's going on I probably talk too much to be honest 
um, if you're interested in seeing the full um, reveal with the matching bedside tables, that will be up in the next week or so. I do have a challenge coming up, um, which is the Halloween challenge for 2022. And it is hosted by Meg over at Lovely Jubbly Furniture. Um, so I'm looking forward to that next week. But I just want to encourage people to have a go. Um, I am by no means an artist, but I really enjoyed doing this. And I hope that you enjoyed seeing it. Um, yeah, all I can do is encourage you just to have a go. If you don't like it, you can paint over it. You can send it off. It's no big deal. Um, there will be a link in the description for everything used in today's flip. Um, the Cuts Amelia links are affiliate links, but it doesn't cost you anything. It's just <clears throat> to help out the content creator. Um, yeah, so I will, if you go onto my link tree, which is in my bio for YouTube bio, you can get onto my Facebook and Instagram pages and see the stage photos for these ones. So yeah, thanks again for joining me and I hope you enjoyed this flip. Something a bit different. I think it'll look great in a little girl's room or a nursery. That's just me. Okay, thanks again, guys. I'll see you soon.